Okay, the pieces you will need for page two. Your A piece is six inches across by six and three eighths. Your B piece is five inches by six inches. If you're doing the first, um, the first version of the album, stop there. If you're doing the um, second version of the album, continuing on, your C piece would be six by eight inches. Your D piece will be a hinge. It's one inch by four and seven eighths. And your E piece will be a five by five square. Okay, so get your scoreboard out. So your A piece, we are going to score A piece we're going to score at half on the six and three eighths inch side. So the six and three eighths is at the top, score at half. Your B piece will be scored at half on the six inch side. Okay, and stop there if uh, you're doing the first version. And uh, if you're continuing, the C piece will be scored at four inches on the eight inch side. And then we are going to rotate it and flip it over. So now that score line is horizontal showing the mountain side. And we are going to score again at half and at five and a half. Okay, that's your C. The D will be a hinge, so we are going to score it down lengthwise in half. So half on the one inch. And your E piece will be scored at half on either side because it's a square, so half on one of the sides. Okay, so now we're going to add score tape to all of our half inch sections. Okay, so that's the A and the B. Uh, I'm just going to miter these and put them on first and then so then if anyone's just doing the first uh, version of the album then they can skip ahead to the decorating part after this so grab your base page um, the opening will now be on the right hand oh sorry <laughs> grab the one that we've already started working on so flip it over so um, the opening is now on the right your A piece is going to go at the top of your base page And the B piece is going to go at the bottom of the base page. And it's going to go kind of over top of your A. So line it up so there's an equal distance on the left and the right. Okay, so if you're doing the um, simpler version of the album, there you go. Uh, if you're doing the other version, let's keep going. So, let's finish putting our score tape on. So, just on the half inch sections on the valley side. The hinge will get score tape on both sides of that score line. Okay, and then the C piece gets a little extra love. So we are going to um, put score tape on oops, valley side on half of the score lines and then we're going to cut the other half out like, just like we did with the base pages. Okay, so we're just going to cut
the rest of that score line. So up to the center score line. Okay, so your C will look just like that. And then the hinge, I like to fold it over first and then trim the edges like this. So then when you open it up, it looks like that. And then your B piece. Okay, let's get those out of the way. Bring your base page back in here. Come here. Okay, so your C piece, we are going to fold on the score lines. And we are going to adhere it to the bottom of B. So it's going to be a pocket that has a flip down part, okay? But right now you've got the two sides of the pocket but you don't have anything to stop the tags from going through, which is where the hinge comes in. So remove the half of the score tape backing from it and we are going to put it on the back of the uh, C piece. So right at the bottom, so this is going to stop your tags from falling through. So now you have three sides to a pocket. Okay? So like we did with the other pocket, we're going to take the sides off, the backing off the sides first, and then put, oh, have it a little bit off center there, that's all right. And then the bottom, and now we are going to adhere this to the bottom of B. It's hard to see. So B's here. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put this piece right here. Okay, just like that. So now it flips down and is a pocket. Then this um, E piece, I forgot what letter we were at, E piece is going to go onto the top of A and it's going to close over the C pocket. Okay, so remove the backing and you want to make sure that it's lined up with your, like make sure it's even with your the edges of your uh, C piece, but make sure that it adheres to the A piece, which is underneath. Okay, so there's your E, and this is your C and D, I guess your D hinge. And then this is the, and then it's attached to the B, and then this is your A. So it closes up like that. Now we'll add some magnets. So we are going to do magnets from, uh, let's see, from B, this one here, B to A. Two magnets, a little piece of score tape, all right, and there we go, and so that's that would be all you'd have to do for the sim simple version of the album. Um, so this D piece, or sorry, not D, uh, C piece, you're going to adhere or magnet to itself, this flap. So, piece of score tape down here somewhere. Two magnets magnetized together. 
A little bit more score tape. And there is that. And then you're going to um, use magnets from E closing over that um, C piece. You can also do a swing tab there or a ribbon or metal closure, whatever you like. All right, and there's the construction of page two. Easy peasy. So I'm going to get my um, pattern paper ready for this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a few pieces on. I'll show you what I have so far. So I've just done basically the inside. So I did this piece, and then this on the inside. So I'll bring it up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so I've decided that um, I'm going to use a different closure instead of a uh, instead of a swing tab. I'm going to use this little kind of buckle to close the front. Um, I got these on eBay. I forget the seller's name, um, but I believe it was called jewelry box toggle clasp or something like that or trunk latch um i will try to remember to put a link to it because uh, i know i'm going to get a lot of questions about where i got them um <laughs> i'm really bad with uh, uh I, I buy so many things off of ebay that i, I kind of lose track sometimes of where i've gotten everything um, alright, so I'm just going to put these two, the front pieces on, but you want to make sure that the back of the two pieces that you were attaching the clasp to do not uh, get any paper quite yet. But the front ones we can do. Okay, so here are the front two pieces. Alright, now put your if you're doing something like this whatever clasp you're using you don't even have to because it's already magnetized so you don't have to use anything at all if you don't want to all right but i'm going to put it on here and then i'm going to um try and make sure it's centered that looks pretty centered to me okay and then mark your holes so we're doing it we're attaching it just like we would a swing tab. Okay, so there's my four holes, so punch those. It's very close to the edge. But we'll make it work. Get out of there. There we go. Oh, my head might have just gotten in the way, did it? I'm sorry if it did. Okay, so there's our holes. They're quite close to the edge. A little bit closer than I'd like, but it's what we have to work with. So, And then punch your holes down here. And then using little uh, brads, attach them onto your page. Normally I don't like having something this close to the edge of the page because then it's hard to cover properly. But these, um, these particular clasps uh, kind of force you <laughs> to to have it close to the edge. Okay, there's that one, and then we'll put on the bottom part. Uh, 
Okay, opening the tines on the back there, and then the other side. Okay, once you have your tines open, add a little bit of score tape to the back of them so they stay where they're supposed to stay. And then we can add the rest of our pattern paper. Okay, so what piece of paper was I using for this? I think it was this one. Okay, so just get some adhesive on that. Okay, and make sure that it covers the adhesive that you've used over those brads if you did this. Okay, and then down here. Oh, I'm missing a piece of paper. Oh, I bet you it's in the pocket. Ha, it is. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the piece in the pocket. Okay, so that one, and then I've got the super sparkly pretty frog right there. So pretty. And then down here, have just some corresponding Okay, and then the last piece uh, matches the pattern up at the top here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, last piece of paper. Oh, that's got all excited. I put that on crooked. Let's try that. Let's try that a little bit straighter. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that goes like that, and that goes like that. And there is page two. Yay! So I'll just kind of recap it all in case you want to pause the video at any point in time so you can see if you wanted to do it the same. Okay. Fabulous. Okay, page three, the pieces you will need for page three. Your A piece is uh, three and a half inches by seven inches. Your B is five and a half by six. Your C piece is five by six. And your D piece is six by 12. Okay, so cut those out and then we will get our scoreboard. Score A at half on the three and a half inch side. And then we are going to rotate it a quarter turn or 90 degrees and score again at half and six and a half on the seven inch side. So that's your A piece. B, we will score at half on the five and a half inch side. So if you're just doing the first uh, album design, stop right there. If you're continuing on, then score piece C at half on the five inch side. And your D piece will be scored at half on the six inch side. Then we're going to rotate it and flip it over. So that score line is at the top still, or is at the top. 
We are going to score again at four. And at eight. Okay, so that's your D piece. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. Okay, so let's get score tape on all of these. Okay, so there's the score tape on the A and the B on all those half inch sections on the valley side. Now we're going to miter the corners and then we will put these two on for anyone doing the first album design and then we'll continue on for anyone doing the other one. Okay, so that's that. So cut at an angle, we've done the in out angle in angle out for the corner and then get your next base page the opening is on the left hand side and we are going to put this pocket so remember to fold in the sides first and then the bottom. Okay, so remove the backing from the sides. And then push the bottom up so that it meets at the corners there. Okay, and then we're going to put this pocket onto the left side of the base page. There you go, there's your pocket. And then the B piece goes on the right side, covering the pocket. Okay, so there's the simple page. Now we will do the, let's get the C and D pieces organized here. So score tape on the half inch. Remember on the valley side, you've got valleys and mountains on uh, each side of piece D. And then Miter the corners. Get the biddies out of the way. Oh, I just realized that we have to do some more to D. We have to remove the, um, keep the center half inch, sec half inch section, but uh, cut the sides out. Sorry, my bad, I forgot about that step. There we go. That's, that's what your D should look like. Okay, fold those ones both up like that and that one back. Awesome! Okay, so your C piece is going to go on the left edge of that pocket, the A pocket. So you've got your pocket here. This is going to go on the left side. Okay. 
and the D piece is going to go on the right edge of A. So it's going to sit horizontal like that. Okay, so it goes on the right, try and center it top to bottom. I'm just going to eyeball it. All right, fantastic. So now you have something that goes up and down. You can do it either way you desire. And then it opens, and then this opens, and that opens, and then there's a pocket. So you can kind of have this going the A over the B or the B over the A, whichever whichever way you would like it to go. Okay, so we will add some magnets now. First, closing the one flap of D over the other flap. You can go bottom over top, top over bottom, whichever you desire. Okay, there's one, and then one from the D piece over the um, C or the B, whichever way you have it going. If you did the first version of the album, it would just be a magnet going from the B piece onto the A pocket. Okay, like that. Okay, and then also from the uh, C to the B. And then we can add our pattern paper. So, piece of score tape, two magnets magnetized together, another piece of score tape, and bing bang boom. That was a nerdy thing to say. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm going to get my pieces of pattern paper ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to get this one on. This one's not on yet. So that, and then this opens up, put that there, I don't know if I've said it already, I probably have and I'm repeating myself, but um, I'm not showing you all the pattern paper going on, just because um, I don't know if people are going to be even using this collection because um, it is an older collection so um, if you're not then I don't want you to feel like you have to sit through me putting it all on and also this is like your chance to be creative so you don't have to do exactly what I do in the paper edition Okay, and then this is going in the pockets. And just in time, because I'm going to have to change my tape roll, so that worked out perfect. Okay, and I'm just going to put this inside the pocket a little bit. Alright, and then you'll have to add some tags and stuff later on. I usually do that at the end, normally. And there we go. So there's page three. So there's this is two and three together, so they kind of match.